Okay, so boys and girls, right here you can see that this is where you're going to be getting your quilt paper from. These are long strips. Really, you would only ever need four, but I would say, well, you could take like four or six, and then when you start cutting them up, it could be that you're gonna be sharing them with your neighbor. You're also gonna be getting a 12 by 12 piece of paper, and we will have those laid out for you as well. Let me show you the process by which you're gonna be doing this, and I'm actually going to be using um, Demaya's artwork as an example. So Demaya did this beautiful drawing. She hasn't quite finished um, coloring it in yet, but she will. And then on her piece of paper, she has here, I remember I made a snowman with my Graham Graham. Super cute. I would probably tell her to make sure that she writes one more sentence so that she has two sentences. Now, I was finding that when I was doing it, that if I went and I glued and put it in the middle, as much as I tried to get it exactly in the center, I didn't, I didn't do a very good job. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to just place your finished thing right here. You're going to be taking, getting your strips from the table, like I'm doing very quickly now. And then what you're going to do is figure out how you're going to arrange it. Now this is some of the fun of quilting, is that people have fabric and they think to themselves, okay, I have all these beautiful fabrics, how should I go ahead and arrange it? Now the way I'm doing it right now is not how I want you to do it because I want you to be much more creative because you guys are rock stars. So I would like for you to be very creative because if we just did it like this, it looks pretty but it's kind of boring. So here's what I'd like for you to do instead. You're gonna take this long strip here and maybe just fold it. And because I folded it by lining up these two edges, I know that when I cut it here, I'm cutting it exactly in half. So now I might say to myself, hmm, maybe I should put the half over here and the other half over here or whatever you want. If I said, no, 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 I think I want my pieces to be even smaller. Again, you're gonna fold it in half so that those edges align and you're gonna cut it. If I do it to this piece over here too, now I have four pieces that are all exactly the same length and I might decide that I'm going to do bing, 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 bing. Now some of you are like, Miss Heat Dirks, I did not know I was coming to math class today. If you're like that, look what I have for you. I'll just go ahead and just start to cut yourself some squares. You're just going to cut them just like this and you're going to make a whole pile of squares for yourself. You're, but don't just do it just when the one color. You could actually stack a few of these together and you could go ahead and start to cut. And this is where I'm saying that you could share with friends. Because if your friends are cutting squares and you're cutting squares, you can share and before you know it, you've basically done what people have done for generations, which is to share fabric and to make beautiful quilts. Now, once you have your pieces cut, then you can go and you can um, start to lay them out. And if you like, um, you can lay them out first or you might want to have a system where you glue as you go. Now I do want to show you one thing. If you're cutting them and you notice that one is sticking out way further than the rest, that means that you need to turn it this way. Because they're all cut to one and a quarter inch going in this direction and I'd kind of like it to stay that way so that you have room to um, write your story. So what you're gonna do is lay out your stuff. If things don't fit, you can just overlap it. And right now I don't have a great variety of paper so it's not looking super quilty, but yours will because you're gonna have lots of different types of paper. Once you've laid it all out, you're gonna take your glue stick. Again, please, these are expensive for me to buy. Make sure that when you're done with it, you cap it. But while you have it, you're going to do it out. You could just slide these away, and then I want for you to go like this. And I want for you to make it pretty ooey gooey. I don't know if you can see on the film that it, you can actually see it glisten there. It's, it's worth putting on a lot of glue so that these actually stay on, because sometimes um, people don't use a lot of glue, and then when I go to display it, it's like it's snowing all day long, pieces of paper falling off. So make sure that when you glue them on, that you go like this, make it nice and glisteny, 
and then go ahead and start to add your pieces on there. Now, once I'm finished, and I'll just move these out of the way. Once I'm finished and I have the whole thing finished, you can call Miss Matthews or myself and we will come over, we'll glue the back on there and we'll put it here. And then you are going to write. Now, I'm gonna put these pieces here just so that you can have an idea of how that's gonna look. So let's say that you've finished and you have all of your pieces glued down then the last step for you to do is to write it. And when you do that, I, I would like for everyone's to start at the bottom left corner. Almost like there's a rainbow going around your artwork. You're gonna start on this side and you're gonna go around. So if I was Demaya, I would take my Sharpie and I would start to write, I remember I made a snowman. I'm not going to keep writing because you know what I mean. She's going to keep writing all like this. Now let's say that she gets this far and she's finished. Okay, now what is she going to do? She could say, by Demaya. She could say that. Or, she, another thing that I always like to do is just to start making doodads. Make little designs. Just fill it up until you get all the way back to the beginning. Some of you have a lot to say for your memory, so you are gonna get all the way around. Some of you don't have a lot to say, so you might be drawing a lot of doodads, okay? So that's what you're doing today. I can't wait to see what your quilt is gonna look like. Have fun!